express um, our profound gratitude to His Majesty the King, um, uh, King Mohammed VI. Uh, as Zambians, we still have fond memories of his visit to, to Zambia in 2017, and um, that really was pivotal for us as Zambian people, and it really gave fresh energy to the Zambia-Morocco -Mor relationship. Uh, this today I arrived in your warm country and thank you so much for the courtesies that have been extended to us as the Zambian team and with us we brought a letter, a personal note from His Excellency President Akainde Ichilema to His Majesty the King uh, to wish him good health and continued success to him as the King, His Majesty the King and also to all the Moroccan people. Uh, this visit, Your Excellency, is particularly important to us in order for us to make progress on the issues that have already been agreed between our two principals, His Excellency the President and His Majesty the King. Uh, one of the issues that we've already agreed uh, with my brother, Minister Borita, is that in order for us to make progress and move, one of the key things we shall do is that we'll enhance our bilateral relationship from where we are at Sajid de Affairs level to ambassadorial level. I think that's important for both our countries. As the minister mentioned, a number of agreements already exist between our two nations, but we must ensure that those agreements are tangible and produce the results that are mutually beneficial to both our countries. And in that regard, we've agreed mutually that we will soon set a date when we can meet together in Lusaka for the Joint Permanent Commission, the JPC, to ensure that our relationship is enhanced. Uh, I'm also happy to say, Honorable Minister, that our political relationship between uh, your country and our, our country is not new. Uh, you have a mission in Lusaka. We have a mission uh, here in Rabat. And also, Zambia is one of the countries in the Southern African region that already has an office set up already in Layun. And Honorable Minister, you've been interested to know that uh, uh, this is an indication of Zambia's support on the Sahrawi issue to, to your country and all the efforts that you are putting in place also under the UN position and also just for us to reaffirm the, the agreement that was done in 2007. Zambia uh, wants to make uh, this position, uh, to reaffirm it once more that it's not a new position for Zambia, it's deliberate on our part and you do have our support. And further to this, one of the things that we want to achieve is also to advance the economic diplomacy aspect of our relationship, to add to the political relationship that uh, you already, we are already enjoying from each other. And in line with that, what we want to see is that the things that we admire, that you've been able to achieve uh, as a people and as a government, uh, issues to do, of course, the advancements that you've done in the agriculture sector, um, your capacity to produce on a large scale in terms of fertilizers is something we admire. And uh, we've agreed with uh, my brother, Minister Borita, that we should carefully look at the possibility of having uh, joint ventures in Lusaka, learning from yourselves with the expertise, because there's a huge opportunity there. By geographical advantage, Zambia has, is surrounded by neighbors. We see that as an opportunity, and Zambia must be looked at carefully. Instead of just looking at Zambia as a country, we must look at the whole region for, for export of agricultural products and also to produce fertilizers uh, together for the entire region. It's a huge market. We are also a country that has my, admires the progress you've made, particularly in the production of vehicles. I think you are leading Africa in that direction, and we want to work again very closely with you there. Um, uh, as you may know, that uh, our country is a leading producer in Africa for copper, cobalt, lithium, manganese, and these metals are the ones that are required to, to, to produce electric battery metals. So we are in sync in, in that regard as well. But I think what is also very crucial for us is that uh, we want to express our gratitude on the things that 
we are already cooperating on. Uh, on the education side, Honorable Minister, our government and our people are grateful for the scholarships. Uh, we have a number of students here already, uh, over 300 of them that are sponsored uh, auspices of your government to assist uh, our government to ed educate more of our, of our youths. And in line with that, we've agreed with Minister Borita that we now also look at the aspect of vocational training for our young people. Uh, like many other African countries, Zambia is a country that has a lot of young people. Uh, the vast majority of our population, at least 60, 70 percent of them, mm. are young people. One of the key policies that we have in Zambia is the issue of free education. And uh, free education from first grade up to the 12th grade, but after that, uh, we need more support, more areas of collaboration, and you are indeed our preferred partner looking at your track record and what we've been able to do or, uh, for a number of years together. Uh, thank you once, Honorable Minister. Uh, we've spoken a lot today, and it's given us a good platform for us to make progress on many, many other areas that we shall announce in due course. But one of the main ones, which I shouldn't forget, is that because of the visit of His Majesty the King to Lusaka in 2017, uh, our President has expressed desire to do a reciprocal visit into, uh, into Morocco very soon, at the dates that will be agreed between the Minister, myself, with our principals, the President, and His Majesty the King. I think that's where we are. Uh, thank you so much thank once you. more for the invitation.